Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this Rebel Forces helmet from the Star Wars movies. If you hear jingling in the background, that's my cat. I can't make her stop. I'm sorry, I do apologize. To start out, I baked off two 8 inch round chocolate cakes and I also baked off an 8 inch half ball pan. I cut both of my 8 inch round cakes in half and then I'm stacking those up with some simple syrup to keep them nice and moist and then some Swiss meringue buttercream. I'm going to be building the top of my cake in the ball pan because I find that it helps keep its shape better. So to do that I've cut up my cake and I'm just adding the top of that into the bottom of the pan and I'm layering that up the same way I did with my other cake just using some simple syrup and then my filling. To make sure my cake stays nice and level, I'm going to use the pan as a guide and using my serrated knife, I'm just slicing off the top of that to make sure it's going to sit level on my cake. Once you're done, you can put that in the fridge to firm up and in the meantime, I'm going to dowel my cake. Using four wooden dowels, I'm placing those in the center of my cake. I'm going to be carving this cake so I'm making sure not to put them too far out to the edge and two of them I'm putting quite further into the middle because I'm actually going to be carving off the front of this cake. So you just want to place them strategically. Keep in mind that you're going to be carving. Mark off where the dowel is going to be flush with the cake with an edible food marker and then just cut those to size. Once those are in your cake, just spread on a thin layer of buttercream and then I'm placing a six inch round cake board on top of that and I'm going to be deep panning my half ball pan. It should come out really easy because I lined my pan with saran wrap before I put my cake in and you should have something that looks like this. Now this is when the carving starts. I am personally not that great at this so I went really slow and I used a reference picture which I will link below. Just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but definitely make smaller cuts. It's way easier to just cut a little more than it is to put a little back. So the first thing I'm doing is tracing out the front of the cake where the visor is going to go. I'm making a shallow cut at first just to make sure the shape is right. And then I'm committing and cutting in, I'd say like about a half inch. And I'm just making sure there's still the overhang for the top of the helmet and then there's a little bit of cake sticking out on the sides as well so you don't want to just have like a flush cut you want to actually bring the middle in a bit. You can see my cake board is sticking out a bit but I actually just cut that away so that's all good. All of the cake scraps that I'm cutting away I am placing in a bowl. I'm not throwing those away because I'm going to be using those. Once I was happy with the shape of the cake, I set that aside and moved on to my cake scraps. Now to form the mohawky looking bit on the top of the helmet as well as the side pieces, I'm going to be making a cake pot mixture and just kind of sculpting it. So to do that, I am adding a little more icing to my scraps and then I'm mixing that up until I can roll a piece into a ball and it stays together quite firmly, it doesn't crumble away. And then again, using my reference photo, I'm sculpting the top piece as well as the side portions that stick out. In the picture I was using, I didn't realize that the mohawk actually extended fully all the way to the back of the helmet, so I kind of just tapered mine off. I thought it looked okay still, but it isn't technically correct, so do whatever you think looks best.
Once I was done sculpting, I took my knife and just rounded out the bottom and the sides of the cake so it didn't look so boxy. And then I moved on to my crumb coat and I just applied a thin layer of my Swiss meringue buttercream all over the entire cake to lock in those crumbs. pop that into the fridge for about 25 minutes to firm up and then using my offset spatula I applied a nether layer buttercream all over the entire cake and to smooth it out I used a combination of my spatula and a piece of cardstock or you could use acetate. I find that really helps with roundish shapes versus your very straight spatula and I just got that buttercream as smooth as I could. I put that in the fridge one last time to firm up and in the meantime I rolled out some white fondant onto my cornstarch surface. I picked that up with my rolling pin and draped that over my cake and the first thing I secured was that mohawk area because that's where air bubbles would get trapped. And then just pulling out my skirt and working my way down I just smoothed the cake. It did take me quite a while and the fondant luckily didn't get cracked or dry out. Just work as quickly as you can, but it's kind of a tricky shape, so just do the best you can. If you find that you are getting air bubbles trapped anywhere, just use a pin to poke a small hole in your fondant and then just push that air bubble out with your fingers. For all the little nooks and crannies that my fondant smoother wasn't able to reach, I used a scrap piece of fondant that I just rubbed in some cornstarch and I ran that over my cake. That's a great way to get into all the areas that are kind of roundish again. And then using my fingers, I went over my cake and just squared off all the places that kind of got rounded out with the fondant. You do want to make sure you have some sharp edges like the tip of that mohawk area and the side bits on the visor. Cut away your excess fondant at the base with a pizza cutter or a very sharp knife. Moving on to my decorations, the first thing I'm going to do is the red stripes on the top of my helmet. And for that I'm rolling out some red fondant that I added a little bit of black to. And I'm using my pizza cutter to cut out some long strips. I adhered that to my cake using some water and then I did the exact same thing with some yellow strips of fondant. I 
I rolled out some more of my yellow fondant and cut a square of that out and then I placed that on the front of my mohawk area and just trimmed away any of the excess. Next, I cut out some really thin strips of white fondant and then just spaced those out on top of that yellow. I have been so in love with my clay extruder lately. I'm using it for everything and I'm using it this time to get a really thin strip of black fondant. This is a lot easier than trying to roll it out by hand and I will link the one that I'm using below. You can see I'm using that black to outline the bottom of my mohawk and I'm also rolling out an even thinner strip of that black fondant and outlining the white lines on the very front. For the front of my cake, I want to black that out because it would be if nobody was wearing the helmet. So to do that, I've rolled out a big piece of black fondant and I just press that against my cake and I use shortening for this because shortening usually doesn't cause the colors to bleed. So as I move this piece around, it's not gonna rub off on my white helmet. So once I have that adhered to my cake, I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife and just trim away any of the excess around the edges. For the rebel symbol on top, I will link the template that I used below. I just traced out the shape and then I'm rolling out some bright red fondant and cutting out two of those using my X-Acto knife. Those go on either side of that mohawk. I only added one, you can see, but later on in the video I do add the second one. You could just cut out a long black strip of fondant for this next part, but I am going to use my clay extruder just for convenience and I'm going to run that along the bottom of my cake and up the sides of the white that's poking out a bit. For the visor, I couldn't really find a template for myself so I just made one. I just eyeballed a goggle type shape. So this part was a little bit dicey but I rolled out some orange fondant that I added some Tylos powder to and then I cut out my design and I used some pieces of floral wire that I very carefully placed in the top and I let my goggles firm up a bit before I tried to apply them to my cake because if they were too soft they would just fall off. While the goggles were setting up I added more detail to my cake so I rolled out more of that darker red and then added the little squares to either side of my cake. Using my clay extruder again, I rolled out some gray fondant into a very thin strip and then I kind of just outlined the ridge sticking out on the side of the helmet. Using a piping tip, I cut out circles of that darker red and the yellow and then added those in between my gray lines. I added a strip of yellow fondant beneath my bottom gray line, just tucking it into that ridge. And then I rolled out some black fondant really thin and used a circle cutter that was a size bigger than my piping tip. And I cut out some V's using my X-Acto knife. And I just added one on top of every single colored circle that I have and I use some water to do that. So once I completed doing the design on both sides I had something that looks like this. My camera always seems to stop filming during one part of my video and this time it was when I was putting the goggles onto the cake. 
All I did was press the floral wire that I had put in the very top of my goggles into my cake and then I secured the top and the edges with some piping gel. With some more of that really thin black fondant, I outlined the bottom of my yellow stripe on the side ridge on the helmet as well as that little red square at the bottom. And then for the final little design on this helmet, I rolled out some black fondant and cut out a circle. And then with a smaller circle, I cut out the center of that to get a really thin ring. And with more of my really thin rope of black fondant, I just cut it up into some lines and then I added the ring to the side of my cake and then placed the lines on top. Sorry that was so rambly. This cake had so much detail so I had a lot to talk about. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I wanted to add some color dust to dirty it up a little bit. I didn't like the way it looked when it was so crisp and clean. So I used a paintbrush to just sweep that all over the cake. I added it pretty much every nook and cranny. And then I used some white food gel and just streaked it on certain areas to look like the paint had chipped off. For the final touches, I rolled out a thin strip of my black fondant and then using some white fondant molded out a little chin cup and then I attached the strips on either side of the visor, just tucked underneath the goggles. And then I mixed together some orange food coloring with some clear vanilla extract and painted my goggles so they didn't look so flat. And then I was finally done. This cake definitely took me forever, but I think it turned out pretty good considering I'm not amazing at sculpted cakes. I love Star Wars and I'm so excited to see the movie on Friday, so this was a nice little gift to myself. Thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.